So boom, there he is. Clearly a dude that's in very good shape. And we go to the description. He says, gearing up for next Felix extraction sequel, transitioning from heavyweight training from Thor to a lot more body weight functional movements, concentrating on agility, strength, and speed. Time him up. Balled a hole here. And that man, Chris Hemsworth, he's been taking his top off again. Now he has moved away from the Thor movie, which is in post-production at the moment. I think it's coming out early next year or at some point in 2022. Hell, maybe it's 2021. I don't know. And he is moving on to a sequel known as Extraction. I think it's the next six movie where he has openly admitted in interviews, you know, for Thor, I need to be big and bulky. But when it comes to Extraction, I need to be a little bit more leaner. He also always ties it into his center app, which is his personal fitness app, which we have been through here before on the channel. But he uploaded this video. Now, I'm going to show this video in a second. But it's actually what you don't see, which is far more interesting. So boom, there he is. Clearly a dude that's in very good shape. And we go to the description. He says, gearing up for next Felix extraction sequel, transitioning from heavyweight training from Thor to a lot more body weight functional movements, concentrating on agility, strength, and speed. Give this little workout a go and let the lungs scream for mercy. And then he plugs his app as we've already talked about. So he's doing three minute boxing rounds of cardio. Uh, he's doing 50 squats, lower body, 40 sit thrusts for mobility, 20 reps for each core exercise, 25 push-ups for the upper body, rest two minutes, four sets in total. That is absolutely going to kick your ass. And as some of the comments have said, Jake Gyllenhaal got in there. Did a little couple of flex emojis. Pride of Gypsies. Isn't that Tyson Fury? Isn't it Tyson? No, it's Jason Momoa. I got it completely wrong. He says, boss. Cowboy Cerrone says, my man, Josh Brolin. Damn, once I finish this pizza, I'm going to do that. Proving that Thanos is still the greatest person ever. And it goes on. This looks like fun. I'm trying. I'm trying not his. What? I don't know what that means. Wild Ambroski, superhuman, and so on and so forth. But right, if we actually go through the video and we stop it at opportune moment, when he is doing the punching bag, as you may have seen in the thumbnail, and I try and make sure I put the image in the video, his arm especially, you're like, well, that is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm not trying to get across here that Chris Hemsworth isn't in great shape. I imagine 99% of the planet, people on the planet right now, if a magic genie came and he said, do you want to look like this? Do you want to trade? You'd be like, yes, please. I really desperately want it because I suck. I can't stop eating cheese. But here is the thing, and it goes back down to the final Thor picture that once again we talked about here on the channel, where he looked looked like he was an absolute giant. He kind of like he was a pro bodybuilder. And once more, I bet if we had seen him like that, you'd been like, Flaw, blimey, that guy looks great because you turn into a stereotypical British gentleman. But again, I bet it came down to lighting and I get it back, it came down to the way the camera is framed. Every single little thing would have been thought through in order to make Chris Hemsworth look massive, which is why no matter what you see on Instagram or no matter what you see all over the place, you can't start comparing yourself to these people because you do not know what's going on around the actual image itself. Chris Hemsworth has the power to not let any image he doesn't like get out there on the internet and I support him in that his endeavors so much sometimes pictures of me get out there on the internet I look awful and it does affect my mental health of course it does not in a bad way not to the point I'm like oh but you know it just bothers me I'm like man I'd rather that wasn't out there because we're human beings and we have doubts and we have problems it's perfectly normal but watch this right if we stop the video like here for example if you showed that to somebody you can tell the guy sort of works out and that he's in shape but he doesn't look like an absolute mass monster whereas if we stop here kind of boom all of a sudden it looks like he's tripled in size. Now, I understand that most of the comments are going to be talking about the fact that he's clearly come off PDs for doing Thor's and doing this. I don't care about that. I am 99% sure all actors that have to beef up for roles are on PDs because as we talked about a thousand times, why the hell wouldn't you? You've got a medical team around you making sure that you're not going to die. And I'm sure if we all had a medical team around us who were making sure we're not going to die, all of us would do PDs because why the hell wouldn't you? That's the one reason why people don't do them. But also two millions upon millions of dollars are placed on these people's shoulders. And if you have a casting director or a producer or whoever the hell it may be saying, look, we need you to look like this in eight to 12 weeks. And you can either get there without help or with help. And someone's just going to say, hey, here's some help. You're absolutely going to do it. Like, this is a great shot. This is the one that sort of starts his uh, Instagram video, meaning before you push play, this is what you see. He looks absolutely redonkulous there. Look at his arm. Look at his deltoid. Look at his abs. Look at his chest. Look at the sirations going through his pecs. It's, it's crazy. But then in the same avenue, whatever you want to call it, the same time period, we can shift back to this picture where he doesn't look any 
anything like that. And do you wanna know why? Because it all depends on the picture itself and angles and lighting and blah, blah, everything that I just flipping said. It's as simple as that. And the reason I thought it was so important to highlight is because Chris Hemsworth especially is somewhat of a magnet when it comes to bodybuilding and lifting weights in the Hollywood space, much like The Rock. I would say The Rock, I would say Chris Hemsworth, and there'd be somebody else I'm not thinking about right now. Uh, maybe a Jason Statham to a lesser degree. And people always know what they look like right now. How do they get like this? Oh my gosh, men's fitness, men's health, whoever has put out, or any kind of website on the internet has put out, uh, this is what this person needs. This is what this person does. And even when you see this, I bet a few of you have gone, oh man, I need to do this. I need to do my three minutes of boxing, my 50 squats, my 40 sit-throughs. And you should because it's actually quite a nice hit routine. And if you did do two minutes for four sets in total. But the thing is, is that going to make you like Chris Hemsworth? Of course it's not. Of course it's not. There's not enough muscle stimulus there in order to make sure you're getting the gains. I, depending on your diet, I don't think you're going to burn that many calories because you're only doing four sets in total. So it's a good thing to add in, but there are so many other things that you need to do. And even if you found out exactly what Chris Hemsworth was doing and you incorporate all that into your routine as well, you still are not going to look like Chris Hemsworth because you're not Chris Hemsworth. And I get that sometimes you get this message sent out to you a lot, but it's because there's so many other people trying to send out the other message. Like I bet there's a ton of stuff you can find right now. Oh, I've got Chris Hemsworth's secret plan. And if you pay me 50 bucks, I'll share it with you. And it's just not the case. Even if they do have it, it's not going to work for you potentially. Maybe it would be better you did an old school traditional bodybuilding diet such as an Arnold Schwarzenegger used to do. Or maybe you want to come and do some kind of CrossFit or maybe MMA training. There's just no answer. And I know that when these kind of posts go up and sort of my uh, sphere of friends is into the gym, oh, did you see this? Did you see that? And I even say to them, dudes, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. If he's come off a source, as they say, and he's leaned down because of it, all right, good for him. <laughs> he's, he's a movie star. He's a good looking chap. He's got millions upon millions of dollars. I mean, who's really losing here? I like this picture as well, which was from five days before he took that one when he's watching the Western Bull Bull Bulldogs, which I think is an American, American, Australian football league uh, sky, because of course he's Australian. And I think this kind of summed it up there as well. Who watches TV in the dark? <laughs> Actually, it's not true. I watch TV in the dark, but I would 99% sure the reason they have taken it like this is because the light from the television, I'm just looking at the picture down here, the light from the television has cast all these amazing shadows over his body. So you can see his lats, you can see sort of, again, the start of the abs, you've got the Adonis belt, whatever the hell people call it. It's all done for show, and it should be done for show. He's got, the, he's got the ability to do it. Would I do it? You bet your ass. But it kind of ties into this video, and this is how we'll leave it as well. This is him doing some uh, occlusion training, which is basically blood flow restricted training, whatever it's called. I've tried it. It's okay, but it's not for me, which ties into everything we have been saying. But again, if you look at him from some angles in this video, once more, he looks like he's, it depends what there, looks a bit bigger. Seconds later, he looks a bit smaller. And that's the problem with calves as well. Do you remember that picture that came out with Chris Hemsworth and his calves are like absolutely tiny? Everyone, oh, Chris Hemsworth doesn't train leg day. One, why the flub do you care about Chris Hemsworth calves? If he never trains calves, so what? He goes swinging his Scrooge McDuck type money. But 99% of the time, it's probably just because they were caught not in the way you want. And calves are difficult to make look big anyway. That is a kind of a genetic thing. Some people just walk around with massive calves and it's crazy. So my point of this is to stop comparing yourself to everybody. Stop running around thinking like, don't see Chris Hemsworth doing blood flow restriction training. I need to do blood flow restriction training. It's okay. I gave it a go. She gave it a go because it's fun and doing new things in the gym is really exciting and keeps you motivated. But you have, you're not just going to uncover the secret is what I'm telling you. All of a sudden, you're not going to do a 180 of everything you have been doing and then a week go, oh, look at me now. I'm big and jacked. It's sustainability. It's a balanced diet. It's longevity. And it's finding what works for you and finding that you're always passionate and finding that you're always enjoying it. Because if you're not, of course you're going to quit. If I came around your house now and said, I can get you into the best shape ever, but I get to punch you 100 times in the head every hour, you'd be like, you know what? I think I'd rather be out of shape. I think that stands to reason. Also, one of the stupidest things I've ever said. Now, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the bell. Ding, ding. So you know when other videos are going live, there is another video on the screen. Please do give it a click just to appease YouTube. You don't even have to watch it. Just give it 10 seconds and you can leave. Patreon.com forward slash Simon316 if you want to support me that way. Twitter and Instagram is Simon316. I'm in Grade 2 new cookbook. Make sure you check it out in the link below and use the code Simon15 to get some cash off. Simon.bigcartel.com for merchandise. I'm on Cameo. If you'd like me to say happy birthday or happy Hanukkah or Yom Kippur, whatever the hell you want. Otherwise, you take care of yourself. Make sure you have the best day ever. If you are going to the gym today, smash it with all the intensity and power you've got. And I'll see you on the next one.